I got some headers. I got a 5.3. 2004 Silverado. Four door. Let's go ahead. Before start, we got tips. First start. Cold. <laughs> Stage two. All right, guys. What you want to do is take out the bail, unhook the spark plugs, remove the coil pack connection on both sides. Of course, take out the intake. Let the fluid out. I'm about to take out the coal packs. And take out the spark plugs. Alright, here. Alright, so we already got the the headers. We already got the rocker on. Lights, camera action! Here and we go. And the uh, spark plugs. Next we're gonna take out the water pump. Out the rock arms. Yo, I asked for um, real detailed video, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Are you about to take the bouncer out. What is it called? Bouncer? Uh, yeah. yeah we're, we're about to take this thing out. Uh, the thing that uh, runs the engine, the crank. Yep. I'm excited. <laughs> wow. Just like that. Wait, and then to take the whole thing out, you gotta use these pulley or it's called it's what it's called it's called a grabber. You grab it and you pick yeah. it out. <laughs> it, it grabs it out. You don't gotta put a uh, bolt in there? Yeah. yeah. Before that, you gotta put a bolt in there. You gotta put Mr. Blackie in there. Oh, not Mr. Blackie yet. Uh, not yet. This is fresh. Alright, well, I'm gonna put Drain the, it in, the oil. like, three, two turns. Then put this one in. It's got, like, little things on the back. Get the pulley that it grabs onto. Cleaning up his oil is not going to do it. Want to do it. What size is that? The magic is gonna come right up. Next year, hold it. Here, I got a deal. You gotta, you guess, you're a big boy to hold it. And mm -hmm. if you can see real closely, it starts coming out very slowly. Coming out. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's a boy. Whoa, whoa, it's a boy. 
Congratulations, Huli. All right. Oh, oh, hello. Pull out. And that's how you take it out. You got yourself a frisbee. Uh, we're taking out the timing cover. Uh, we don't need that, but uh, yeah, we don't need that one. Uh, yeah. And there's two more bolts at the bottom. One right here. Another one right here. Uh, here's a nice end of a swivel. My, my bolts already got me. Oh, sorry. you already know. I already know what's up. It's just a tan. There you go. Just antis. You should be fine. Are you going? You think I should be fine? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it more right now. Ready? Alright. So first you're gonna mark your timing. There's the dot on the top sprocket and then one on the bottom. Then you just line them up. What is it? Six to twelve, right? Six to twelve? It's six to twelve. Yeah, it does. There's the dot right there. There's the other dot. Ah, yeah. oh, the bolt's gonna come out. Dang it, fucking pass it. Oh, all the way around again. All the way around. Right there, you are dead center. Yeah, and that's your timing. Timing is correct. Don't move it no more. If you move it, you'll fuck up. Remove the three bolts. Then you can remove the sprocket. to the side, remove these four bolts, they on some, some of them, yeah, let me get your rod ready, so on some, uh, on some engines, these four bolts might be a start pattern, it's gonna be a, what are they, like T10s? Uh, T40. T40? T40. And side guy, some guy mentioned about the, what size were they? 560. 560. And then remove this little... Move the triangular plate? Yeah. Remember from last video? Triangular plate. Yeah. Put it aside. There we go. Water pump bolt. Just two. Just spin the cam a few times to push the lifters up. Then you can slide your the rods in to hold the lifters. <coughs> there you go. Slide the other one in. Hey, this camera is heavy. That's what she said. You don't get tired of holding it every once in a while? Mm -mm. Well, like you said, we're going live. We're going straight through this. We, This is the fastest cam we ever did. We're already, what? Two hours in. Hell no. <laughs> we're like an, like, an hour in or two. Let's. Where do I want to go? Mm -hmm. Alright, then 
once you got your rods in, you can pull your can out. Like it's gonna be that cam bearing, right? Hmm? You think that cam bearing or was it the front loop? Uh, probably the front probably loop. Probably the front loop. And it's not even a lifter loop, just the cam bearing loop. And take your bolts out before you hit your radiator. Make sure you have your handyman right next to you. Yeah. I'd like to have a little wear in my That's normal though. Like you when, promise? When you see like when it's digged in. Oh digged that's in. When, that's when it's bad, yeah. And he took out the the dick. Hi the, guys, the I'm the and you grab a I'm, cold one and then you open it with the can. Hi guys, I'm I'm Diego's assistant. And that's my assistant. My name is Louis Esparza. We just got hired today. Alright, I'm spot. getting paid $3 an hour. Yeah, uh, not even an hour yet, but <laughs> we're all good. That's all you so. Here's my name tag. My name tag, man. <laughs> we got the new one. Diggle's getting it right out. Here we go. We're about to... You gotta make sure you lube it. We're gonna add, we gotta add this to the collection. You don't wanna put it in dry. Get that dry store. Just pour it or what? It's gonna leak out. Here, let's go over in the dirt. You can use any oil you want as long as it's lubricated. But we chose this because we're sponsored by Purple Oil. Royal Purple. Oh. So what he's doing is massaging the shaft. It's like. It's oh, like take it a bath. Here we go. You use the KY lubrication when you're masturbating. Oh, oh, oh shit! My new pants. My new pants. <laughs> but those were new. Those were new last week. Or two weeks ago. Oh shit! There you go. We got oil. Oh look, look. We feel it. We feel it. And then just put it in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then you grab your bolt. You gotta get your assistant though. Assistant! What happened? I got I need my water pump bolt. Oh, I want primo. Primo, no, primo. Hey, disculpe. Here you go, sir. You never take off your wedding ring, right? You wear, you do it for everything. I wear it for everything. No, oh, he's married. What do you expect? But you're not scared that it's gonna mess up. Looking at that cam is fucking so shiny and the other one's all I know. rusty. Sponsored by Rusty's. Take the rods out. This one's a little stuck, but it's okay. 
If you get your hand in there, can you get you some pink sauce? I got you, buddy. You just grab them bitches. Grab her, grab her like a, if she, she was going home with you at night. There you go. What you said? Let it go. Let me go. <laughs> Fucking put a hole in the Make sure it spins freely. Alright, it's all good. Keep on trucking. Uh, the little triangle? Yeah. Here you go. Grab this one. Put it back. You want to throw some water in this one? Yeah, I got some. Which is it? This has to be like the world record putting a cam in already. Well, yeah. for us. Then you throw some Loctite on it. Why don't you use gloves? Well, I nah, they're not usable them. <laughs> I got the torque specs to 18 pounds. Don't see much more. Don't see much. Then you grab your sprocket and one bolt. Make sure you line it up. Make sure the thing doesn't Put go. Put the up. little dowel pin on the little hole. First, bring the can forward. Then you're gonna line up that dot at the bottom. Chef's bolts, right 26 there. pounds. And then you can put the chain on. You line up the bolt? And then make sure the dot's at the bottom, right there. Then it should line up with the cam. There. Then you put your bolts in. Put a little bit of thread lock. Anyway, this just strips out. I actually let all. How much? Twenty six pounds. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 26 pounds. So Saturday, got the hose texting me. What hose? All right. Now we can put your timing cover back on, and then put the balancer back on. Put everything Sorry. back together on the front end. So, as you can see, you guys, I got my red truck. You know, don't got it, don't got it, cause I sold it. You know why? I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna go to it. I don't know why I was going there. But um, so we got the Dynaco blue, and then we got another one. In the mine, in the mine, in no mine. So, and this my new whip, my new whip.
How am I fucking supposed to go if I don't have a car? What are you telling me? Bitch, what are you telling me? Take the truck. Yo. Yeah. Um, race truck. We're missing boats. Oh, they're over. still over there. All right, what do we need? Water pump gasket. Do they even sell those alone? No. Yeah. Do you? I think so, yeah. Hey, you know what? Let's get out of here. Still recording? Mm hmm. For real? Mm hmm. Stop. Stop it. All right, guys, I got the front end back together. You pretty much put, to recap, I guess, you put the timing cover and all that, or the timing sprocket and all that. Put the timing cover, put the balancer back on. You first tie it with the longer bolt, with the black one I had, which is longer. And then once that one matches out, you take it out, and then you put the new one in, and then you put it all the way in until it matches out. And then that's pretty much it in the front. Then now we can start doing the valve screens. So we'll show you how to do that. And this is the tool I use right here. Just record on Diego. Diego's on top. Look over there, steady like a motherfucker. Oh, Mama, damn. you fire! <laughs> <laughs> you should get closer to this. Alright, so we're gonna spin the piston to the top of the center? Yeah, because they said, how, how do we do it? Oh, Pass the quick. For real? Can we go yeah. back? Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. Well, you could go back. Oh, I don't, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Good ball. Alright, let's look. Okay. You want to do it more? Yeah. So there. We spin oh, it to the top, top Oh shit. Oh, shit. Alright guys, um you know? was uh getting the the last springs out at the end. Oh, oh careful, careful. Man, keep the keepers in there. You do not want to lose these keepers. We've done it before, and done trust it me, you don't want to be there. Nope, yep. Then get your little picking tool. These are the keepers right here where they're coming out. See those little thingies? They're little metal stuff. Something you don't do not, do not want to lose. And after this last springs, we're gonna go ahead and eat some pizza. We'll put it inside, Julio. And now we'll go inside, wash our hands. And back out. Okay. Going to the side. Is it making out. a flower bed like that? It's hard? No, it's easy. Yeah? You gotta have patience. Go, go. Has this guy, he's willing to pay somebody to do that. Take out these old springs, put in these new springs in, but the you gotta pull up the valve seals. Valve seals out because we're putting in so, new valves. So I see you got a new cameraman. Yeah. yeah. You're fired. See, look, look at the special shot, Mono. Look at that special shot. I can do better. I don't know. Watch, watch. watch. Look at better. And here comes your effects. Look at that. <laughs> 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 oh shit, is it? <laughs> Quang, 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 quang. Is that good? Fucking deal is like, don't do that no more. <laughs> that was fucking like loud. Old spring, old valve, uh, the seals. Let's see a new one, Diego. And yeah. here's a new one. Just push it in. They, they so it seats all the way down. down. You can see them and in there. You get the Those new valve springs. Valve springs. They'll just go right in there. Lift up the valve just a little bit. 
and Diego will show you the tool to put in, uh, take out a valve compress uh, compressor. A valve, valve spring compressor? A valve spring compressor. That's a tool right there. We will show you in a minute once we get it out. You know, there's some people wanting to know exactly how we use it and how we use, we don't use a air compressor. See, no air compressor, everything's top dead center. We got the piston all the way up, so the piston is hitting the, the, valve. the valve. So that's how the things are still keeping up. Make sure you gotta line it up. Because you don't want to drop a valve either. You do not want to drop a valve. So you would have to take out the heads and, yeah. and all that stuff. Replace so your head some, bolts. And something you do not want to do. It's better to use a to put it top dead center than using an air compressor because why do you tell them why you don't you don't want the freaking hose to disconnect or and, oh no and if the hose disconnect where you do you have the springs out or it loses it loses the pressure it loses the, pressure or somehow the 100 percent chance the seals will fall in yeah and and you just put your you just put yourself in a bigger spot and more more hours a lot a lot more hours while Diego's doing that over there I'm already putting everything back over here and after this last spring we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna go ahead and take a little pizza pizza break because Diego demanded some dominoes and about a grub. <laughs> oh! Well, he jinxed it! <laughs> it's the last one. Uh, I hit ground. Yeah, I heard it hit ground. So. Okay, uh, we'll be back. I gotta find it. Alright, guys. Um, Sort of jinx ourselves saying that don't lose one of these things. This is this is real tiny. Oh, it's not focusing. Hold on. These little things that it holds the spring into place. This little thing. And you do not want to lose it. We already did. And I just found it. And you do not want to lose those. The only place you can get them is at the dealership. We already tried to do it once to the auto parts, auto parts store, they don't have and them. they they do not carry them. The only the only two places I would say would probably be Summit Racing and the dealership. One hundred percent the Summit, right? Yeah. One hundred percent they will have it. Which and you, almost fell again. And you can see they're inside, right there. Pointing at Diego, That's right it. inside there. And those will hold the spring with the valve, and that's they will not go nowhere. Hey Amen. All springs are in. You can see the keepers in there. Uh, where, where is it? At? Uh, right there. Show them, dude. Mm -hmm. Keepers are in there, ready to be seated. Would you gotta take out that long bolt out of there. Look, go. Take it out, Diego. Yes, you know I mean? And mm. those will just hold on to the spring and the valve. Show them the tool that you're using, Diego. This is the tool that Diego uses, the spring compressor. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me get a focus. And right there. It just bolts down on the rock around holes like that and then it pushes down on the springs yep. cool beans alright All right. We'll uh, we're, we're gonna be back we're gonna go ahead and take a pizza break and bye there's a hurricane coming we gotta hurry sprinkling a little bit on that there's nothing that will stop us right, just put your push shots back in Then put your rock arms. There you go. Put them all together.
like that. Perk them down to 22, right? 22 foot pounds? Uh, yeah. I gotta work at seven. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, kill the cinematic shot. <laughs> Just pour it everything in. I got another one over there, it's like halfway. You want to try one more? Make sure it doesn't work. We forgot one whole other biggest spinning. <laughs> we'll find all the valve kitchens with them. Dang. Yeah. Hey, this is Dang, she's thirsty. Is your alarm going to go off? There you go. Oh. Oh, there I go. Ay, you fucking lost it. Alright, guys. First start, here we go. Why don't we put the cam back in there? Oh, there it goes. 